Yo, what's up, Stop Fire Your Brain? This is John. I got look at, my, look at my janky ass equipment here. Can I leave mine against yours? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here, we we'll got a pillow. Now, here we go. Oh, look, look. See, this uh, man, this man's a highly trained professional. Oh. I ain't got a hair on that right now. No, you just, you just, you just, over, yeah. you just chill down here, right here, right here. What's going on, Ron? How you what's doing, up, Ron? Thank you for coming to meet me. Hey, good to see you, man. Stop Fire Your Brain. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we ain't seen each other in a bit. We were just chit chatting yeah. about the last time. Well, I saw him, I was not so. This guy, was, <laughs> this guy was doing that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I was, oh yeah. my man, I was about, about a whole human lighter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just it. a whole human lighter. I had, I had, man, I had sunken teeth, missing teeth, hollow eyes. No, yeah, yeah. You were fucked up, man. Yeah, I was bad. No, yeah, I was bad. Yeah, was, uh, sometimes when we get on this and hear random people, people don't they read my writing, they're like, no, you were really that bad. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that was bad, dude. Yeah. That was the worst, man. So me and Roman, um, we got a little history. We go, we went to a bunch of meetings together. I called you a few times when I was down yeah, and out, man. Yeah, yeah. And like, what do I do next? And Roman always came at me straight. He's like, well, what did you do last? <laughs> like, yeah. like, what are you gonna do right. different? And yeah. and you know, it took what it took, man. There was no man on this planet that could save my ass, you know. But but there was, I had a lot. I had a lot of. I read wrote about this. I had a lot of great teachers along the way. Yeah. You no, know, like I've heard you speak and it's moved me, man. And I've seen what you've done with your family. It's moved me, man. And Thank I've seen, you. I've seen you. what you're doing here, and I'm like. I'm like, I want to be like him when I grow up. <laughs> hey man, yeah. I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a, it's a blessing, dude. Um, we do, we do go back, you know. Yeah. And yeah. we go back to sometimes that we're a little dark. Yeah. But that's addiction, man. That's our. Yeah, that's what's that. That's this disease, man. That's what it does. I'm excited. You, you came up on Facebook and it said that you were in town. I was like, holy shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I, the last time you were in yeah, town, yeah, yeah. A, I thought it would be a mad dog day when you were there the other, the other time. He's like, yeah. I'm at a retreat of old. Uh, not kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it, it's cool, man. I, I seen what you're doing with Stop Frying Your Brain. Yeah. I read your stuff. Yeah. I love it. Right on. I see all your posts. Right on. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. If, Likewise, my brother. Likewise, my brother. If you're looking, if you're watching this and you don't know what it is, uh, stop frying your brain. Like, click like, share, check them out. His stuff is solid. It really goes into the gritty, nitty detail, the dark details of what addiction is. What you know, what that lifestyle looks well, the like. the Alex channel, huh? Yeah, and well, it's the like, channel. It, it, it's real raw, uncut, emotional. Make you think. You know, it'll, it'll, it shines the light on an area of life. Hi, Denise. How are you, girl? A lot of people don't want to look at. Man. Yeah. And, and for that because reason. They don't want to see that dark side, man. They want to look. Exactly. I mean, like, like I, want to, I want to focus on success stories. Like, I saw my boy Brody Webster the other day. Yeah. Right? And that, that kid's a success. I went and hunted his ass down and hunted right. him. All I had was a name and a picture, and I had to go yeah. find him. And do it. But I'm a tweaker. I know how to find tweakers. And I found it, you know, and, and but to see him too. I want to see that, but man, I want to see, I got to, I got to see the dark. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, like, you, you, you got some years now. You got some time under your belt. Right? You got a good long chunk of time under your belt, right? Yeah. And then, I mean, like, well, like, as a path narrowed? Well, I'll say this, man, is that any, any story without a beginning is really not a story. Yeah. So we all have what we've come from. Yeah. And a lot of people know my story. I'm very public about it. A lot of people know your story. Yeah. I'm very public about it. Too. Loud about it. And for a lot of, what I know about a lot of addicts and alcoholics is there's a lot of shame, there's a lot of guilt, there's a lot of remorse around their story. And for a lot of people, their past and their history keeps them, keeps them sick. going out. Keeps them sick. Yeah. They, they, and I, can't, like, I can't get better because look how bad I was. Well, they, it's like, well, look at all the shit I've done. Yeah, how am I going to fix it? And a lot of people, myself included, yeah. at some point were like, I don't deserve. Yeah. Like, Anything better than what I've got? Yeah, you know, and right. I, and, and that's a, Watch out, yeah, been that's there. a shared belief. I've been there. That is. If you ask any addict, alcoholic, anyone who's sick and suffering, they think they got this coming. Yeah, yeah. They're like, yeah, this is the life. You know, there yeah. was there was one point in my life where I was resigned to living this lifestyle. Yeah, I thought for sure I'm gonna keep going back to prison. Yeah, I'm never gonna get off of drugs. Never. And I'll probably die. Yeah, I never, I never even want to think about getting off of drugs. And I was okay with it. I was accepted it. Yeah, I embraced that. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. This is this is life. This is who I am. Yeah. You know? And I think for me, the first step of recovery was coming up with the idea that that's not okay with me, and that it's unacceptable. Yeah. yeah. That I'm not. And I'm. I'm no longer comfortable with the way I'm living. 
And what happened to me and what happens to a lot of people is I didn't come to that decision myself. No, it happened right? to me. No, it happened to me. Someone else brought <laughs> forth the idea that there's potentially a better life for you. Yeah, see, I grew, I grew up in that. Man. I yeah. grew up, my dad got sold with my mom. You met my father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad got sold with my mom was pregnant with me, so I grew up with the solution presented. Yeah. You know, and my, my last sick one, I crawled out from underneath the playground. And on either side of me, there were churches, yeah. NA and AA meeting at these churches multiple times a day, and I'm surrounded by solutions. Here I am, my capable potential. Yeah. But potential just means you haven't done shit yet. Yeah. You know, uh, as and I, you were a soldier. Right? I mean, I've heard your story. I know your background, man. But, but like, you, you got there, and then, like, and then I mean, like, like, but what brought you? What brought you to that surrender? Well, what brought me to the surrender is first I surrendered to my disease, and what that means is that I was like. Okay, I come to terms with the fact that I can't win this battle. Yeah, I'm not. That no way, there's no different angle that I could take and where I'm going to be able to do drugs and drink and be successful. Yeah. And when I came up with that, there was freedom. There was so much freedom. Yeah. In knowing that that, that I okay. didn't I didn't even need to continue fighting. Yeah, hands up. And then the next step was okay. What am I going to do now? Yeah. And just like you, Solution was all around. Yeah, it was everywhere. I mean, fuck, you hear it on every radio station. There's yeah. someone... Trump, Trump talking Trump, yeah. about it. It's like, it's, <laughs> there's Solution everywhere. Yeah. This, this idea that there's a lack of resources and a lack of solution is bonkers. It's it's false. It's a fallacy. Yeah, but it's a good way to keep me sick. It's yeah. true, if, I, if I'm in my sickness and, and, and I reach out and I make that first phone call, my dude doesn't answer well, here's the thing, too, is like when I'm in my sickness, like I will convince myself anything. Anything. Crazy. Like I will consent to convince myself that what I'm doing is right. Yeah. That what I'm doing is not hurting anyone, especially yeah. myself. And that it's okay. Yeah. Or I will know that it's wrong. Yeah. But it's all right. Because fuck these people, I gotta hurt them because what they've done to me. Exactly. And because, uh, or, or, I mean, like, the, the, the shit that we tell ourselves yeah. is liar. I mean, this liar, still, he's active in my head a lot, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's active in my head a lot. He tells me, I ain't never gonna be worth a damn, I'm just a convict, like a track mark told to most of the people I know. You know, like, I ain't gonna be my friend dying one after the other, what am I gonna do now? Right. What am I, and, and, and every now and again, like, everything's going great and today ain't no different than yesterday, right? My circumstances have not changed at all. My brain will tell me I'm a piece of shit. Well, it, it's, there's a story I'd like to tell. Yeah, I want to hear it. I've worked in treatment for the last five years. Uh, I, I've done everything from counseling, interventions, transports, companionship. Now I own a sober coaching business. I've done everything that there is to do in the treatment field. Yeah. And working as a counselor, I had a client that was like, you know, he had been in our treatment center multiple times. Yeah. And he, What's multiple though? We talked to a kid yesterday, he said 27, 70. What's multiple? Okay, maybe not 27. He was like five or six. Well, he's, he's, both, he's 27 spread out across the board. Okay. Like, all the same he spot? was like five or six. And right. was, and like, can, like oh, back to Five back. or six. What kind of person was in the same place five or six times? Yeah, right here. <laughs> and he was getting ready to graduate. Yeah. 90 days sober, good job, healthy again. Everything Head good. full of solutions. Family talking to him. Everything back track and there came a pivotal moment where as someone a treatment professional I always push aftercare obviously any plan without aftercare is a terrible plan and I'm gonna get that out there you do with it what you want yeah but if your plan yeah if your plan does not include aftercare you're getting set up to fail that's just that's just the reality yeah right I mean Here's, the, here's also the facts, is that treatment centers have a three to five percent success rate. Three to five is not. Meaning that you have a three to five percent success chance of being sober a year after going to treatment. So I, I, now, that's now, another, that, I, that's another you might be more perfect. Like, like I, 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 that's I've been that's, that's, that's baffling. <laughs> what? That's, that's, that's absolutely bad point. That's crazy, man. Cause, and so, because we tell people everybody got a chance. And 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 the reason is is aftercare. Yeah. Man. It's because people go to these thirty, they do the little 90 thirty day, yeah, yeah. And then they go straight back to the same thing. So this kid, you're talking about this kid. He's so in the five yeah, so this kid, He's he's set up to succeed. All right. We're talking aftercare. We're talking. Yeah. Uh, he, he's he's in, on board, on board, on board. On his track. He's on his path. Somewhere along the line. He yeah. gets a wild hair up his ass. We all know what it really is. Yeah. It's, it's addiction. Yeah. And he thinks, I'm, you know what? I'm going to go back home to New Jersey. 
because, yeah, because, I got this. because my family's out there, because I got this girl Support, out there, yeah, I, I got this girl job out there. out there, you know, life is looking good. I've been there. And we're like, I might no, be there right like, now. Like, no, <laughs> like, this is a terrible idea. Don't Bad go. Idea. Don't yeah. go. Yeah. He goes, right? There's, yeah. not, you, there's nothing you can say to do to stop someone. Yeah. The very next night, yeah. I get a phone call from his mom and he overdosed. He literally got off the plane. Yeah. Went straight back into his shit. Probably no and, plan to do that though. In his and, head, he thought that, that his plan was solid. He thought his like, plan was good. And like, how often is that the case? Like, I, like, like, I want you to know that from the bottom of my heart, every time I wanted to get sober and I wanted to change my life, that is truly what I wanted. Yeah. And then somewhere along the line, yeah. I got a wild idea, and I ended up loaded. Against my will, man. How many times over years? and over and like, over? I never showed up on a court card, man. And I go to those meetings all the time, man. Like me, me, me and Roman had the same little fellowship club that we went to, man. And yeah. I watched this guy getting better and better, and I would do a little bit of success there. What's up, my boy? I shout Gil right there. What's up, bro? Right, Roman. Right. Good to meet you. I figure y'all know each other, man. Yeah. How way? Yeah, 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 yeah. He felt as good earlier. Oh, but I, I mean, I showed up there, and I, and I wanted to get sober every time. I didn't have a court card, man. Every time they sentenced me to AA, I escaped. Yeah. You know, when they were giving me, I was, you know, and, but but I wanted it. Every time I called you up or somebody else up, yeah. I wanted it. You know, yeah. and, and and every like, time, like in your heart, in my heart, I like wanted it. On my way to connect, I wanted it. Yeah. After making a cell phone, how, how many, how many of you guys listening know that feeling? Yeah, of like truly, truly wanting it yeah. so bad that you would do anything to get it, just to have the very next day you load it yeah. against your will. Yeah. Against your will with a needle in your arm, man. Against your will. Like, I, like, I was living down in the sober house by my little girl, right? Yeah. You know, that, that, that little yeah. allowance club is tight, you know? Yeah. Cool little sober house. I'm making money, right? I'm selling ad specs, and I can talk. I don't know if y'all heard me, but I'm slanging. Dude can talk. I can talk. Yeah. I heard, I've been doing it my whole life, you know? So, <laughs> you know, I'm making money, real money, you know? And, and, and everything's going good. I got a car back. I don't got a license, but I never mess with that anyway. Right. <laughs> I just... I don't think about the DMV. Anyway, you know, so so like everything's going great, everything's going fine. What do you say? You need to pan up a tab. Oh, pan up a tab? I don't even know what that means. Does that mean this? Like uh, this? Maybe. Pan up a tab. Wait, tab? Tab string them? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You know what? Here's what I usually do. I'll just hold this motherfucker. <laughs> I'll just hold it here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now, um, you got that, Robert? Is that good for Is you? That good? You know what trips me out, man? Is I've been doing this. I look at this little thing right here, yeah. and I'm like, seven people. What the fuck are we even doing this for? You know, I like talk right. to seven people on the phone. I know. Them. And then I go look afterwards. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. So I don't know how it works, man. I'm new at all this, man. You've been doing this for a, for a, for a minute, dude. Yeah, yeah. And I've been checking out what you've been doing, and I'm like, I'm like, man. Thank you. Like you got a message out there. Thank you, man. And that's. Man, how many people can we reach from the podium, in the rooms? I'm not. I'm not taking anything away from what we do as far as our own personal recovery. Yeah. That's what that is. But this is the We got an epidemic. Yeah. Still frozen. Well, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll say this, man. Yeah. And it's like we, you and I, have yeah. a similar path. Yeah. We have a similar past in some areas, yeah. but crystal our, meth. But our mission, man. Yeah. Talking mission. Yeah. Like. What we're doing on here, the reason we got together, the reason I just drove 20 minutes to meet you because yeah. I had you in town. Yeah, it popped because, up on his face with the stalker yeah, app. Because, <laughs> like, we have similar missions. Yeah. And the mission is to reach the sick and suffering, man. Yeah, that's it, man. You if you, give, us your, give us your tired, you're broken, you're busted and disgusted, and let's yeah. bring them to help, man. Yeah. You know, because trust me, if, if, this, if this dope fiend can pull the needle out of his arm and dry the blood off, man, so can you. Yeah. If this dude right here, man, I heard his story, man, we come from, a, the, here's where we're, our backgrounds are different. My daddy moved us from Queens, New York to Rancho Bernardo, right? Alien planet. Give us some background. Who is this cat? Give us some background. <laughs> who is it? Who are you? I, oh, well, all cat? right, all right. You're yeah. the cat. You don't know who Roman is, man? All right, who? <laughs> who is he? So, my name is Roman Brawley. I, uh, I am founder and CEO of Sober Life Coach. It's a company I started not too long ago. I also have my own po podcast. It's called Sober Life Audio Experience. It's badass. It's I've getting, checked it out. I've been checking it out. Yeah, it's getting yeah. Ton, it's getting yeah. tons of you know tons of hype. Tons of people are tuning in and listening. We're really reaching the masses. Uh, so a little bit about my background yeah. is yeah. Yeah, yeah. is I come from foster care system. I'm a ward of the state. Shout out to those who are listening who are wards of the state. I got a special place in my heart for you guys. I'm also a United States Marine Corps veteran. I served our country. Shout out to the veterans. 
I know that there are a lot of sick and suffering veterans because part of the process of dealing with post-traumatic stress is drug addiction. And Big time. What, what happened was that straight out of the Marine Corps, I ended up in prison. I ended up severely addicted to methamphetamine. You mind if I ask what you did on the term? Was it dope? No, no. My first term was actually, I, I uh, was living in Tijuana. And, and I was running shit over the border. I love Tijuana, dude. I want to go. Yeah. I was I was doing tons of crystal meth and I was running shit over the border. Oh, uh, you got fed, yeah. fed pop? Yeah, I went to fed the feds. Pop. I went to the feds. You lucky uh, dog, you're gonna do all your time. Well I did I did <laughs> I, I, I got out so I went I got out of the feds and I, I almost immediately went back to state prison yeah. for a new charge. Uh, so, uh, so I've done some prison time, you know, methamphetamine, opiates, heroin, oxycontin, all the above. I'm yeah. I'm really a garbage yes, bag full of oh shit, so <laughs> that's what's up. It just popped up rolling around yeah. everybody knows. Shit. Yeah. Uh, I, came, I came to San Diego a little over five years ago. I was homeless, living on the streets, downtown yep. Skid Row. Shout out to Skid Row. Anyone, oh, man. Anyone that has come off of the bottom, Skid Row, like, you guys are soldiers, and you guys are lucky to be alive, because I know myself, I am lucky to be alive. There's no yeah. doubt about that. Yeah, blessed. And, you know, through some circumstances, like, I got introduced to recovery, and when I got sober, and my brain started working again. Yeah. I realized when that. When the bomb cleared. Yeah, I realized that I have a gift and I have a mission, man. Yeah. And since well, that. You carry your message well. Since you that. All you have yeah, for a while. Thank you. Yeah. So, since that moment, I, like, I, I could even remember it was a turning point in my life where someone asked me what I wanted to do with my life. Yeah. And I said, I want to help others. Yeah. And I said, then do it. Then and, do it. And since that day. That you've done it. That's all I've been doing. That's right. My whole mission in life is to help others, man. Man, that's like, a, from I, the bottom of my heart, alcoholics and drug addicts. Yeah, give me your we, bus. We, and we, man. we got it bad. We got it rough. We got yeah. it hard. Work. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't get my head off, man. It's a bad idea. Yeah, you're not going to Tijuana. It's a bad idea. Yeah, no. man, they got roulette down there. You, you can't go to Tijuana. No. No, man. You can't go to Tijuana. That's a that's a that's a bad idea, bro. Right, what if I brought some of people with me? <laughs> You want to go to Tijuana, dog? Yeah. We're going to the dog track, homie, man. We're going to the dog track. Nah. Oh, man. Nah, man. How's, After, your how's your baby? Oh, my baby is beautiful, man. Yeah. I, I have a two-year-old daughter. She's the, the light of my life, man. There's nothing more precious than I remember children. when she was just born, man. I remember when she was just born, man. There's nothing in, in this world. There's nothing more precious than children. And part, yeah. of, part of my mission, man, is I, I want to make a world that's safe for my daughter to walk through. Yeah. We ain't good parents when we're loaded, dog. Yeah, we ain't good parents when we're loaded. You, we're, your daughter ain't never seen you like that. No, man. So I can't say that for my son. She won't, man. Yeah, and, I can't say um, that for my son, but I, I, but, but I can make sure, damn sure that that uh, that doesn't got it no more. But, but, but more importantly, man, is that she's gonna grow up. Like yeah. this is this is like a life lesson I've learned. Yeah. Is that my daughter will grow up. She's gonna have her life as I've grown up. Yeah. And I completely 100% paved my own path. Oh yeah, I was responsible for yeah. every damn thing, man. I did. I mean, my mom, my mom and pops. Yeah. Right. My, my dad had alcoholism. Yeah. Right. I never seen him drink. Yeah. I never seen him have a drink. Right. I was able to turn and twist that against him. Exactly. We're big time. We're good at that. I'm one of you. You know, Manipulate. dad. With the, you know, I was talking. I was writing the other day about the first time I, I when I came out the closet and told them I'm an addict. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm bum busted and I'm wearing stripes and pink boxers in Arizona. <laughs> and I'm collect calls to my pops. Oh, I, I tell him. Spot. I yeah. think I got a drug. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm about to go to the towers. I'm about to go to Ten City. Yeah. And I tell him I'm a drug addict. And my dad goes. I'm expecting this like good son the first steps admitting it shit. And he's like, are you shitting me? Plug his website. Yeah. Right. Oh, your site, your site, your site. Oh, my site. That's all. That's Robert the Brain. Robert the Brain Hensley yeah. Roman, Roman Brawley. What's, What's up, your site? Robert the Brain. Yeah, my website is www.soberlifecoach.com. You can also find me on Facebook at Sober Life Coach. Yeah, uh, I know that you're on there. You know what's up, yeah, with yeah. Life Coach. It's, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll share the profile link yeah. too. We link it under this yeah, right here. That's 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 the company, man. And um, really, the aim of the company is two things: obviously to help people, right? But to like support other people too. Because so, uh, sober Life Coach. I mean, is it not not just you, you go ahead, bro. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. We'll get into me, dog. Cause yeah. I gotta get some better equipment, Robert. You better ship me something. <laughs> I live on the border as well. I know you're talking about which border, Alicia? Yeah, right by, by here in TJ. Cause we're thinking about going yeah. down that yeah. way. Come on, come along. Alicia. No, so okay, sober life coach. Yeah. All right, so so there. I mean, like, but besides being a sober coach for 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 an addict or an alcoholic that's in need, are you yeah. also training people how to become sober coaches? Yeah, like, so, you're employing sober coaches. Yeah, so that's a, are that's you like part. the Craigslist of sober coaches? 
Not like a Craigslist. No, no, maybe a little bit better. A little bit better. Like, like a, the whole, like a the whole, yeah, the whole premise is yeah. that. Tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, it's two parts, man. It's, it's. I am a sober life coach. Yeah. But I also employ coaches. Okay. And those coaches are typically people who obviously are in recovery, but people they I have like handpicked. Yeah, you vet them. Yeah, and yeah. they're like. The one, the one thing about treatment, and I'm not bashing treatment, man. Go ahead, I bro. I do it all the time. I, I fucking love treatment. I do it all day. It's a necessary. Yeah, yeah, I'll just man. say this, is that if anyone's trying to get sober, the best place to start is treatment center. Well, I mean, it, 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 they, they're going to provide you a safe place to introduce you to the platform that you're going to carry your life to. You've been talking about aftercare. Well, right. what, what, I mean, like, after the aftercare is the real aftercare. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's, that's what that, we do so all that, day. So that's what we do, man, is... So I, I don't bet. I'm not, I, like, 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 let me clear this one up here, man, because there's some misconceptions about it. I don't, I, I don't promote destroying the brick and mortar and just and, and evaporating an industry. Right. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that there's a lot of places that are coming out of the same dry modality, yeah. and they're being paid an exuberant amount of money, like 4.7 trillion dollars last year. Build the private insurance companies. Let's shift their modality because the disease is growing, the epidemic's getting bigger. Yeah. So we got to start throwing more at it, you know. Yeah. And what you do. You know, what I've been trying to do and what people are doing, that's why we're sitting here now, yeah. besides, besides the fact that we got some history, doggy, yeah. is I've been listening yeah. to you and I'm like, this guy is coming at this in a different kind of way. Yeah. And that's what we need. Fluid it's, all, it's, it's, all, it's all about... You need the attitude of that. I mean, it's it's all about evolution, man. Yeah. And, and yeah. The, the treatment industry, the recovery field has been the same for a long time. Yeah. And not saying that it's broken or needs improvement, but there is a huge piece missing. And that is the aftercare because Extended right now, aftercare. right now it goes detox, yeah, to twenty eight days to residential, yeah. of some sort, and then maybe outpatient, yeah, but probably straight oh, to a sober living. Straight to a sober living. So you're, maybe some PHP, so, so you're yeah. talking about a max, a max of like ninety days, yeah, sober before they're kicked out into the real world. Yeah, and in that ninety days, you are in a bubble of sorts. Not, not to discount that there's a lot of helpful information, the groups, the individual therapy, all that is so necessary, but yeah. it is a bubble. It is a bubble. And then they're put into the real world, yeah. and people immediately, immediately fell. Yeah. And so the whole premise behind And then they get recycled back in, and then, and then people want to point the finger at the treatment industry like they're causing that problem, yeah. and they're not. It's like, not I've never said that. They're not causing it's it. It's just a hole. Yeah. It's just a gap. And so the whole premise of why I started is to fill that gap. Is to fill the gap. So we work with people from that 90 day mark or the getting out of treatment or right. getting out of outpatient and walk them through right. life yeah. sober yeah. until a year. Until a year. Until a year. A year because, after treatment. Because here's the thing is that after you get a year sober, so your, your chances of long term <laughs> recovery Great, yeah. they fucking skyrocket. So I, I was reading some some stats the other day, and I'm kind of a stats guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm kind of a stats guy, right? Yeah. Uh, but I don't put a lot of stock in the numbers, you know, but but they are what they are, and they don't really lie. And it was saying that that for an opiate addict, after a year of recovery, the chances of them getting to their second year are double. Yeah. Right. I read the same exact stat for an alcoholic. It was three times after a year of sobriety, continuous sobriety. The next year is double. It is triple. Right. And then I read the stats for an amphetamine addict, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm an, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an IV meth user. Yeah. I've been, I've been for a really long time, and uh, they're cut in half, right? And like you see me getting a little like, because like, it scares the shit out of me, right? Yeah. Because it's the one place I never want to go again, yeah. and I'm not far enough away from it to, to, to ignore the fact that it's there, right? And I got a lot of friends that are still out there in it, and I got some that have just come to this. And I'm not talking people I know in the meetings, and all of you, I love every last one of you, I yeah. want to help every last one of you, but I've developed a bond with these people. Right. And that's why I'm doing this, because I realize that my, my, my scope and my reach isn't big enough. Well, and, 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 but but, but I, I'm not a treatment yeah. professional. I want well, to be very clear about that one. Yeah. <laughs> all right? I, I am. Um, yeah. An expert. Yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. And I will say this is, is that one thing that you touched on that yeah. I would like to. Yeah. Because I'm a coach, man. That's that's what I yeah. do. Is I'm really good at my job. So I'm getting some free coaching on it. Yeah, I'm really good at my job. I'm really good at what I do. I help people run businesses. I help people get back on their feet. I help people fucking start new you. careers. I help people do everything. I'm not I'm not just a sober coach. That's not just what I yeah. do. Yeah. I help people in every form of life. Yeah. And the one thing that I would say for you and to all the listeners, and this is a little free piece of advice, yeah. is that fear, Fuck fear, the fear yeah. that you have oh, yeah. of realizing, if you're stuck in that fear or whatever it is that you guys are afraid of, if you're stuck in that fear, you manifest Yeah, you that. bring it about. You call, whatever, yeah. whatever you hold so, your thoughts, so you hold your So hand. if I'm sitting here and I'm like, fuck, 
I'm afraid I got 30 or 60 days sober and I'm like, yeah. oh my God, like I'm going to relapse. Yeah. Like it's going to happen. I'm scared. Yeah. Well, guess fucking what? You're probably going to relapse. Yeah, you're building it up. You're building yeah. it up and you're focused on it. And I, see, like in, in my personal care, I, I don't put that. I look at those numbers and I say, how many are going to stay stuck in it? Yeah, no, because I you know what? Opi opiate addicts, yeah. they're going to die. Yeah. They got a real, a real, real, real strong possibility. I think a five year life expectancy from their first shot. Yeah. They're going to die. I, I lost five friends. Yeah. To heroin overdose in the last three months. There's Five a scarier, propos scarier proposition for, for, for tweaking. But I'll tell you this. Survive. From what I've learned, <laughs> from what I've learned yeah. is that I have obviously built a way of dealing with grief over the years. You yeah. have to. If you're a drug yeah, addict to. and alcoholic, grief is a common part of life. But we feel it now. We and feel it, it now. And it sucks that yeah. it is a common part of life. Yeah. But it is. Yeah. And part of recovery and part of something I teach my clients and teach people I work with is taking that fear, taking that pain, taking that grief, that remorse, that guilt, that shame, taking all that negative shit. It's fucking cancer. Yes. You can't just ignore it. People will be like, yeah. oh no, just don't even think about it. Yeah. yeah that's, that's the wrong fucking advice, yeah. first of all. But taking all of that, seeing it for exactly what it is accepting it yeah totally. processing it and storing it yeah. and then operating from a place of faith yeah passion well, fear, fear and faith purpose. Every, time. every time man faith passion and purpose it's yeah. a combination man it's not like and this is just my experience yeah is that when you operate from a place of all right i know what my purpose is yeah i know what my vision is i'm passionate about it and i have faith that it's going to work you start manifesting abundance in every area of your life. Yeah. Sobriety becomes I, I, easy. I found this to be true. Yeah. I found this to be true. I mean, and, 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 and when you just saw what I'm sitting there and thinking about it, I'm like, well, that's that trickster in my head. I began. Huh? What is it? I began. Ask oh, him any experience, I began. Okay, so we, 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 we got this place that, uh, that, that's been reaching. We get, we're getting a lot of places from all over the place, right? Yeah, yeah. Because, okay. You know, we're, we're a community of addicts, right? That's what's top frying your brain is. Four yeah. addicts, by addicts, of addicts, no. We got a quarter million addicts subscribers. We got the, the, the United Churches Against uh, Recovery. We got the Holy, the, the Holy Spirit uh, Holy okay. Spirit Recovery. We got the, all these different the recovery tricks, recovery elements, all these different things under, the, under this platform, right? But, but, but what we really do is we want to meet dudes like you that are doing this. So like when we get yeah. a phone call and someone's like, hey, who's that Roman Bradley dude? I can just be like, oh, well, let, let me get you to him. Yeah. You know, or when someone says, hey, listen, I need sober living for my person. Oh, well, let me just get you to a place that right. I went and I touched and I saw and I felt and I spoke to the people that were there. No doubt. And I know it's right and I know it's real. Right? And at a treatment facility, you want you want to talk to us about what your treatment facility is about because you want us to direct our community right. towards you. I want to come touch, see, feel, and, and, and no experience doubt. what yeah, you do. No doubt. Right? So I began is this place that, 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 it's it's not it's not sobriety. Actually. Oh, I know, I know. I don't know I, much about it. I know, about so it. I know a lot about it. Okay, I have a personal experience with Ibogaine. I did Ibogaine seven years ago. Yeah, got me off of heroin. Get out of here, like that. Get out of here. Three days. I was on Ibogaine for three days. What are the odds of this? Tripping balls. Tripping our, balls. Yeah. Like frying balls. Like, 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 yes. Really? Like hallucinations. Get out of here. Emotional hallucinations. Did you have a coach with you through this? I was in a room in a treatment like setting. There were nurses. What's there were doctors. Like, there were nurses and doctors. Okay. Yeah, nurses, doctors. They were also giving this? me out of it. This was in Rosarito, Mexico. Well, Mexico, huh? Yeah. And right. I did this Ibogaine Catch treatment. Out. And. <laughs> And Alcoholics Anonymous, yeah. and I don't want to talk too much about that. And Bill W. did some massive, but, I mean, but let's, let's, leave, let's leave the traditions yeah. alone. But they talk about spiritual experience. Yeah. More than one, over and over but and how over do we and over that? and over again. They talk about spiritual experience. 146 well, times this well, is in the Well, Bill W. did acid. Yeah, in the 50s. And his reason for doing acid was to Manufacture, enhance yeah. his spiritual, he thought, yeah. well, maybe this can give all addicts and alcoholics well, that's, I mean, the 12, a spiritual experience. The 12 steps are designed to, to manufacture a spiritual right. experience. And they have. If I could take a tab and experience it, I would probably take two. Right. So, so, in the process of doing 12 step work myself, personally, I have had a spiritual experience. Yeah. But when I did this Ibogaine treatment, yeah. after three days, I had a spiritual experience of the same magnitude that I've ever had. And I was instantly off of heroin. Never done it again. I was, no, I didn't say that, but I was, <laughs> I didn't have to detox. All right, all right. I was detoxed in three days. What? Three days, detoxed. What it no does, kick. It, it, it rewires your brain. No kick. No kick. No, no running, no No, no, no for, so for that three days, I was kicked. It was bad. Yeah. 
It was, like, it was it just condense it down to an acid trip slash. But you're you're like. But you don't know what's going. On. Are you puking? Well, I'll say this: is that during my ibogaine, and I have experience with friends and and clients that have done yeah. ibogaine. Their experience has been obviously different, but when I took the ibogaine, I remember floating above myself. And I'm hallucinating, right? This actually didn't really happen. But I floated above myself in my bed, yeah. and I saw myself squirming around, riling in pain, dude. Oh, like so astro traveled. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. Astro traveled above myself. I looked at myself in the eyes and said, this is a poor excuse of a human being. And I made the decision. That was it. Whether or not I was tripping or not was that that was it. I was done. Not doing this again. Not doing How'd this again. How'd you get to the game place? How, how, how this? I just heard about this last night. Oh, so yeah. This is crazy. So yeah, the Ivy Game Place was in Rosarito, Mexico. Most of them are. It's not really common here in the States, or it's not yet. I'm a dope I've never heard of it. It's starting to be more common, but it's become a common practice in uh, South America, Central yeah. America, Mexico. They do it a lot. Over in Europe, they're starting to do it. It's similar Let's to- Let's join again when we got some Europe, man. That's our European Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's similar to ayahuasca. Okay, ayahuasca. yeah, of course, it's, of course. It's I was like ayahuasca. Yeah, it's a ceremonial, you know, I wasn't ceremonial, ceremonial shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting it's, it's, it's used as, as such, right. but um, yeah, my experience with Ibogaine, me personally, worked until it didn't work, and- She had a spiritual experience, a life yeah, change, it, it, it lasted how long? But we'll say this, man, if you do your step work and you get like 30 days sober, and then yeah. you stop fucking doing everything, going you to get high. Calling, you, you get high. So you gotta keep doing that again. It's a, well, it's the same thing, man. Is that it, it's it's similar. You gotta to, continue. You gotta continue to work on your spiritual. You need condition. to do something. Yeah, it, it, it would be it would be like me going. It would be like me like yeah. a super jump junkie. Yeah. Going to detox. Yeah. And leave, then that's it. Leaving seven days later and being like, oh, I'll I'm be good. sober forever. I'm off heroin. It's not gonna fucking no. Work. That's uh, not how it no, because I'm on heroin again. Yeah, yeah. So the 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 thought is is that you do this, you have the spiritual experiences, and that motivates you enough. To, take to continue some to, to develop yeah. that, I mean, a spiritual experience needs to be compounded and grown upon. Yeah, well, even when, the steps we do again. I mean, one thing I know for certain. Yeah. For certain is that faith without works is dead. Dead. Which means that if I have an idea, if I have a goal, if I have a dream, a vision, if you will, I do something now. Yeah, it's like I can't sit on Craigslist at home all day. Yeah. I mean, like, I want to be a doctor someday. Yeah, that's know? not going to work. Watching fucking ER That's like, like I was saying the other day, like, I made a decision I want to go back to school. I don't know for what. I don't know what school. I haven't gotten any books. I haven't looked at any things like that. Kind of like third step decision. Yeah, you know, yeah. I just made a decision. I haven't done anything yet, right. you know? That's not going to get me a degree. No. No. So <laughs> it's know. like it's like con constant, continuous, committed action. Yeah. Action, 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 a, a, pro, action, action. a daily program of action. And I'll say this too, is like once you, and it ties back to what I said earlier, yeah. is with the purpose and passion, yeah. is if you take that purpose and passion and use that as fuel for your action, your committed action, you're constant. And, yeah. and, I, and I put emphasis on constant because it's not just like, oh, committed action here and there. No. It's like, I gotta be like every day. About like, this. Like I, get, I, get, I wake you, up five, shot out of a can and I go to a meeting at 6 a.m. Yeah. every single morning. So when you do that, yeah. sobriety yeah. comes easy. But also, your goals and your dreams that you had yeah. when you got sober are going to change. Yeah. And continuously multiply to, and grow. to be where at a place where, look at us. Yeah. You know, for example. I was looking at them. I know, I, I know you were. <laughs> well, I'm single, though. We'll, He's we'll, we'll, see, we'll say me, for example. Yeah. Is that when I got sober, I wanted a girlfriend in a car. That's yeah. all the fuck I wanted. You got that. You know, I got that. And then a baby now, wife. Now, now <laughs> had, had I just been okay with that. Yeah. I would have stayed and lived a mediocre life. Yeah. But as addicts and alcoholics, and you Not guys all know, worse. We're gonna you guys all know, worse. shoot me some hearts if you agree with this statement, but addicts and alcoholics are some of the best people in the world at having motivation, having passion, having purpose, and doing shit. Oh my God, are yeah. you kidding? Oh yeah, once we get The once amount we get of stuff it. that we, we can do, like our IQ levels, Yeah. This is my our, our IQ levels are above average. Yeah. Like the average population compared to addicts and alcoholics are, is the battery low? Is the picture quality going to shit? Nah, that, that, that's in your end. Sorry, the battery's buddy. actually good. We're plugged in. Yeah, we're plugged in, buddy. We're plugged in right now. The battery can't be low. But what I'm saying is like, how many times have you heard at a funeral? I've been to a lot. You've been yeah. to a lot. How oh, many man. times at a funeral did you hear like, poor whoever, he had so much potential? Potential. I love this word potential. I wrote about you know, potential, so means potential. potential just means you ain't done anything yet. Exactly. You haven't done anything yet. But, but as we but get better, it means worse. is that you have the ability to do something. Yeah. And yeah. as addicts and alcoholics, we all have that ability. You know, David Gale, 
Do I? Yeah. Probably. Probably. What's up, David? Yeah. All heads right. Up. I don't know what the heads up is about. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, heads. so when I look at this little... Well, my head is up. My head stays up today, man. Yeah. Like, I, I know we're going to look at my feet. I'm not ashamed of my past. I don't try to cover it up. I don't try to lie about it anymore. I'm open and I'm honest about it. There's some aspects that are per personal and private to me because there's no statute of limitations. But <laughs> no, but, 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 but there, 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 there's some things I, I got one dude that I trust with everything. I tell that dude everything. He's been doing this long enough where he can give me the feedback. You know, I got some other dudes that I know I can reach out to. This motherfucker answer the phone at some weird time, dude. Because that's when tweakers are breaking yeah. down. That, some weird Three time. Three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Freestyle rapping on my cell phone. Really? That was you. Really? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Oh, wow. This dude started rapping to me at 3 o'clock. I can morning. rap, though. I was like, all right, bro. I'm like, Tweaking, huh? How you doing? Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking high. All right, come on. Call me later. Shit. Call me when you're <laughs> yeah, yeah. Call me when you're not. I don't know when I'm not going to be. Oh. I don't come down when I'm not. David is our boy in Australia. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Oh, so, uh, hey, are we moving now? Are we feeding now? Can you see us now, the brain? Yeah. This is Robert Hensley right here. Yeah. I don't know. So for some reason, when this happened, like, I'm, I'm new with this whole technology. No doubt. Right? So, like, I, I, don't, I don't really pay a lot of attention to the comments until okay. I see my, my phone chip on there, and then it'll freeze. And I know that then I'll look and it'll be like 79 comments. And I'm like, right. Do I go back where I answer? Do you, when, right. when you do your lives, do you go back and you answer your comments all the I answer the ones that I can see. Yeah. But, all right, cool. You know, the thing is, is like, we do He's this sober all the time. coaching me right now. <laughs> yeah, we, you know. Yeah. With your audience, yeah. you built an audience, yeah. and your audience will continue to grow, yeah. so the questions will continue to grow. For the most part, you'll get a lot of the same questions. We are bearing too many. Yeah, so you, yeah. you'll get a lot of the same questions, so just keep your content new and exciting for the listeners. Oh, man, well, I, and I, I, also, I, I, it's we, we like, moving. and I see you do this all the time, man, so yeah. keep your pace. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, I like you're my pace. Right I like my pace. Yeah, man. You're, you're I like my pace. pace. I don't know if the people that have been joining me on this little path have been liking my pace. So I've been dragging yeah. them through the mud. Like, yeah. Speaking That's of which, fun. I got we got to get to the beach up there. We got a little condo. We're staying there. My girl Marissa's put me up, and then we got a couple places we got to see tomorrow. But I'll keep that as a surprise for tomorrow. And yeah. uh, man, Roman, I gotta say thank you very, very much, man. You, you've, uh, you've. Uh, You've been an inspiration to me for a long time. Dog. Thanks, you man. have, man. Like, 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 no bullshit. I ain't just like ego stroking, you know, man. Like, like for no, real. Man, like, you got up there and you spoke. You, you, you spoke. I remember Poway, man, when you got up there and you spoke, and you went 15 minutes long, and no one said a word about yeah. that. No one tried to. No one tried to be like, eh, it's over, nah, man. And you got. I think he might have gotten one of the first standing ovations I ever seen up there, man. Like sure, that, sure. you shot Thank that you. shit, you know. And that was the first real look at I had of where you came from. And I was like, damn, I thought this was just some some Poway boy, because yeah. you know them Poway kids up there. Yeah, yeah. Like I come from Queens, New York. I got moved to Poway. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, suburbia. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, suburbia. Why don't you? I appreciate you know? the kind words. Yeah, yeah, man. man. You've, been, you've been an inspiration, and I've been watching what you've been doing. And when I started doing this, really, like, like I, it was, it was like, you know what? I know some people already doing this. Let me go see what they're doing so I can... Yeah. Oh, we're back on? Cool. All right, hey, listen, brain man, I love you. Oh, we gotta sign out, man. Stop frying your brain. Yeah, hey, appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Roman, well, I'm gonna get on your podcast. Check, yeah. check my shit out, man. Sober Life Coach. Go to www.soberlifecoach.com. Follow me on Facebook. Hey, what's up, ladies? We see you back there. Were you hiding? I see you. Ah, I see you. We gotta go back on the quest so, for the brothers. All right. All right, all right. right. we love you, you love you, Roman. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Hey, Get me Sam. on that podcast too. No We're having no fun. Mm, yeah. Hmm. What? What? Oh, hello, friends. Dr. Einstein here at your service. Friends, you know, I want to talk to you today about something I'm concerned about. I have been hearing about lots of people becoming addicted to alcohol and drugs. This is a terrible way to treat yourself, yeah? I mean, why would you want to fry your brain in such a way, huh? You know, you might need that brain someday. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, look, seriously, I know of a website that can help you or your loved one with this sorts of problem. It's called www.stop tryingyourbrain.com Yeah! Look, here is a formula that I have worked up about this. The formula, yeah? Okay. You plus drugs and alcohol, huh? Huh? Plus drugs and alcohol equals, yeah, big trouble. Oh, you don't want this one. But look at this formula. U plus stopfryingyourbrain.com equals success. Friends, you can do this. If you or a loved one is hurting today, is addicted, get help for yourselves, yeah? 
just visit www.stopfryingyourbrain.com. Get some help today, friends. It's very, very serious business. Tell us some Z good doctor sent you. Yeah? <laughs>